Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have some new elf stuff to try out. Um, I know for sure that one of these items is like brand new, but the other ones I'm not really sure, they're just new to me. So the first item I have is a highlighter stick. It is the Natural Glow Stick in Pink Pearl Glow. Um, let's see. Ugh, I don't know how much this is because I actually got it for free because I had a big order. Um, like, like $25, but for e.l.f. that's kind of a big order, I guess. Um, anyway, because I bought a whole bunch of like skincare stuff from them, which I'm going to definitely review uh, later on. Um, watch out for that video. Um, but first, um, anyway, back to what I was saying. Basically, this was, it came as like a free item, like a free pack of items. It came with this one as well, which we'll talk about later. And I just got, I think, a blush and an eyeshadow palette, this highlighter, and a lip lacquer all came free with my $25 purchase, so that was kind of cool. So I don't know how much this is, but it was free to me, so, I mean, it's also, this can't be more than like three or four dollars, um, it just seems like their range for highlighters or like this crayon type of thing going on. So, um, let's go ahead and swatch it on my, for you. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty, guys. Okay. Okay, let's pray. Let's just kind of blend that in. Um, it's blending okay. It's not crazy. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Like right there. Ooh, that's pretty. So just ignore that for right now because this has the highlighter all over it. Oh my god. Better, right? Ugh. Anyway. <laughs> all right. I do. It has a little bit of like a yellow tint to it. Are you seeing that, or am I like colorblind? I think I'm adding too much. I think it's gonna get cakey soon. So, I think it's definitely pretty. It's not too blinding, but it's like not too subtle to where you don't really see it. It is kind of powdery, but now that I feel it, it's still a little wet. Like, I don't know how to explain it. But it looks really pretty. So I'm happy about that. We'll see how that folds up. Um, so my next item that I have here, um, <laughs> this is called the Monochromatic Multi Stick. So you're supposed to be able to put this on like your cheeks and your lips and your eyes, but I already have my eye look going and I kind of like it and I don't want to ruin it by taking it off and redoing it again with something else that I don't know yet. So we're just going to go like in the cheeks and on the lips and see how it goes. Um, it was nicely packaged, but my son got to it, so it's not nicely packaged anymore. So we just go into it. And this is the color, sorry, Sparkling Rosé. I kind of like the idea of these like multi sticks. I don't know who came up with it first, so don't you know attack me for that. Um, I like the idea. It's cute. It matches my sweater. <laughs> There's a theme going. Can you tell? This is a monochromatic day, isn't it? <laughs> um, anyway, so let's just see how much product there is. I don't know why I'm curious about that. Decent amount, I guess, if it's for lips and stuff. Um, it's very glittery. I don't think I want to put it on my cheeks. I don't know, guys. It says you can put it on your cheeks. Let me just read that again. Use this shimmery, luxurious blend, blendable cream to powder stick as your eyeshadow, lipstick, and blush for a cohesive, monochromatic look. This lightweight, blendable formula makes it virtually mistake-proof and perfect for touch-ups on the go. Um, okay. Apply to eyes, lips, and cheeks and blend with a brush or fingertips. Well, because I feel like if I get up and get anything else, my son's gonna go nuts. We're gonna go fingertips today. Okay? Alright, so let's try. <laughs> I don't wanna try this on my cheeks. <laughs> I like my makeup today. Oh god. Oh god, this is just. <sighs> Oh god, okay, blend, 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 blend. In the mirror. Here's my mirror. Oh god. Oh. Okay. Oh, I actually like that. Do you blend? Oh, that's pretty. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe it's a little too much on uh, that side. Let's just blend it out. Using my fingertips, like I said. 
Okay, you know I actually kind of like it. And a little bit more this side. Just a dot. You know, I actually like kind of just like a more natural look. Okay, it's not too shimmery. I thought it was gonna be like bam glitter, but it's not. Okay. My face is like super sensitive, so the more I touch it, the more red it gets. It's just. <gasps> blend, 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 blend for your life. Blend for your life. Just looks like I have a red face. Um, on camera, it looks a lot worse than it is. In person, it looks like really good blush. I mean, that's really decent. Okay, so we got that done. It wasn't that bad. Yeah. So let's go for the lips. Um, I'm just gonna do my fingertips again because um, if I get up and get another brush, he's going to get the camera and it's gonna be bad. So um, let's just go in. I'm gonna go like that. It's very glittery. Definitely has a powdery finish. I'm not really sure this is the look I wanted to go for. And I had to wonder if it's got a powdery finish, is it gonna like wear off in like five minutes? You know what I mean? Ah! It's very powdery. I mean, they weren't kidding. I'm definitely rocking the mauvey, pinky, ready. Powder feels weird. Kind of looks like a stain though, because I don't really feel it on my lips. Well, it's not transfer proof. I mean, you can't see here, but it's got a lot of glitter on my hands. Hmm. I'm not sure how I feel, guys. I was planning on putting the lip lacquer on top of it. I don't think it's gonna work so well with the powdery finish. Um, I don't know why I'm I'm saying that, and then I'm literally like opening it as I speak. So maybe I'm self sabotaging. I don't know. Either way, we're gonna try it, I guess. Cause yeah, lacquer seems great to put over powder. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I honestly don't know why I'm doing it, but I have this really strong need to do it. So, oh god, that's not gonna be good. I mean, maybe I'm just like overdoing it, and maybe it's gonna be fine. It smells like sugar. Okay. This feels like um. It's those clear lip glosses that you would get at the flea market when you're a kid. You guys know what I'm talking about? Where it was like different flavors. The best one was watermelon. The best one is always watermelon. Anything that's flavored, any flavored makeup or lip gloss is always watermelon. So it's great. Not those fake makeups, you know, where they had like the cell phone, where it wasn't really a cell phone. It was just like a, a cell phone, plastic pretend cell phone with like a lipstick thing that came off the antenna. You want to feel old? Put, you know, when you think of a cell phone, you think of one with an antenna in it. There you go. That'll make you feel old. So, um, final thoughts. I like the highlighter. I think it's really cute. It's really like natural looking. Well, not natural, but it's not like blinding. So, it's actually pretty. I like it. It's got that little kind of hint, you know, where you're not blinding anyone, but you can still see it. You know. Um, I... I kind of like the monochromatic, what was it called, multi-stick, I lost the box, it's gone. Um, the multi-stick, um, I think it's really cute, I like the color actually, I didn't think I would like it on my lips, but it's actually very, it looks really good on me, and I guess, it, it wasn't intentional guys, okay, this whole look just kind of happened, it was not planned, alright, so, um, the lip lacquer, Feels like a lacquer, feels like a lip gloss. What can you say? It's not anything like super different. It's just, it even smells like an old fashioned one um, that we have in like when you're a kid. Um, so, overall, everything I think was really great. I love e.l.f. anyway, so what can you say? So, don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button, watch my videos if you know you like me. 
and um, I will see you guys next time, okay? All right, bye-bye.